Now in the past we've done videos on the original Stylophone as well as the Stylophone Beatbox, but today we have something just a little bit more advanced. And when I say advanced, I mean I have no idea how to use it, but to everybody else, it's probably quite a simple device. Today we're going to be checking out the Stylophone Gen X1. Ew, the front of the box is sticky. I really wish that Amazon would stop putting address labels straight onto the box and sending it over. It just makes the box really gross. The Gen X1 is basically an advanced version of their original Stylophone, which came out in the 1960s. Obviously the original original Stylophone has seen a lot of changes over the years, but it's never actually been looked at as a real serious musical instrument. It's always kind of been kind of like a toy. But the Gen X1 adds a load of new features to the original Stylophone design and makes it into a serious piece of kit which can produce some seriously good sounds. But though this thing may be able to produce good sounds, in my hands, as I'm sure you all know by now, it's probably not going to sound so great. Suffice to say, my musical prowess is an acquired taste. I'm really glad that they've stuck with the retro design that they've had through every iteration of the Stylophone because I think it just looks fantastic. Despite all the new features they've put into it, it still looks like a classic synthesizer and I love that. So as well as the famous stylus keyboard which has come with every single Stylophone, you now have a touchpad just above it. And it's very similar to a touchpad that you will see on something like an Otamatone. And then you've got four new sections on the top here which allows you to modify the sound. You have the envelope section which has attack, pitch and decay. You've got a low frequency oscillator. You've got the delay section just here and you've got a low fi filter just here. On the other side you've got your on and off switch and free buttons which I have no idea what they do. Let me check that. Let me just consult the scripture. Um, uh, X adds pulse width modulation. This is used to create a chorus effect with two oscillators appearing to play together. Minus one adds a frequency one octave lower than your source sound and minus two adds a frequency two octave lower than your source sound. I have no idea what any of that means but I look forward to finding out. So to use the stylus keyboard, you pop out a stylus just here, and then you just run the stylus across. And it works exactly as you expect a stylophone to work. The touchpad is really not that sensitive. You have to really push on it to use it. And you can either use the stylus or your finger. Me personally, I like to use the stylus because I think it's easier to apply pressure. Now the touchpad works really well, but it's really hard to hit a specific note with it. That's where the keyboard comes in handy, but if you want smooth transitions between notes, that's when you're gonna to wanna to use the touchpad. Now, if you want to tune the sound coming out of the stylophone, it has a little tuning dial just on the back here. Now let's go ahead and try out some of the effects, and I'm gonna start with the envelope section. So this is the basic sound that you get out of the stylophone. Now if we add some attack to that. Try out the pitch. <laughs> Pure noise. Then you've got decay which gives you the opposite effect of attack. Both fairly undesirable sounds, at least when they're coming from me. Just sounds like electric cries of pain. Let's try out the low frequency oscillator because that's something that I've never really experimented with before. This is new territory for me. So you've got a choice of two wave patterns. You've got a triangle wave pattern and a square wave pattern. The square wave pattern is gonna jump between pitches whereas the triangle wave pattern is gonna go smoothly between each pitch. So let's try out the triangle one first. And then using the rate, you can change the speed of the pitch changes. So if we increase the rate, then we got a square wave pattern. I think I prefer the triangle wave pattern. <laughs> it's got a real alien invasion vibe. Now let's try adding a low pass filter to this. Ooh, you're getting some weird sounds out of this. Just sounds like it's saying ow. Maybe I'm causing it pain. And then the last section to try out is delay. So if we turn that on right there. So in this section, you've got level, F back and D time. Nice. D time stands for delay time and that will basically adjust the time between each echo. You can use F back to increase or decrease the amount of echoes. And then you can use level to adjust how many echoes you actually hear. Kind of gives it a dreamy sound, doesn't it? Mm. 
What if we max out feedback? Let's turn that down. Hmm. Get some of that low frequency oscillator in there. play things through the speaker on this thing. Oh, now I know where it sounds like they listen to one of our videos underwater. I gotta keep messing with the audio so don't get done for copyright. Ah, safe. Music, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to play the Let's Go meme 10 and then 8 and then two times up the 10 and then back to 8. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> Never really understood that meme, but everybody in the comment section of our last video really likes to remind me of it. I think that's enough noise for today. The Stylophone Gen X1 is definitely an improvement on the original Stylophone and takes it to a whole new level with all these new features. Though I'm not musically adept enough to actually get some good sounds out of this thing, I have seen people online do some great things with it. I will say for a device which is a lot closer to the £100 mark than the original Stylophone, it does still feel a little bit cheap. It is all entirely made of plastic. If you're like me and you have no real experience with synthesizers or you've got a kid which you want to introduce to electronic music or anything, like that the stylophone gen x1 is perfect it's a great way to introduce someone to the basics and it has enough features for them to use and start actually making music the design as always with all the stylophones is fantastic and i really like the feel of it overall i think the gen x1 is a great piece of kit and makes stylophones more than just a toy and with that that's going to be it for another edition of looted shout out to kai preshaw keegan mcadams natasha savage and pika foop on patreon thank you very much for your support and if you like this video hit like if you like all our videos hit subscribe We've got more videos on the way you can also follow us on our social pages if you want to support the channel check out the link in the description to our patreon account and you can also join us on our discord server we'll see you guys in the next one have a good one why am i still holding this